and just like that we're back with another video you guys see it you guys see it it's the shrimp for me we are making i believe these are called crawfish shrimp today and guess what guys i started seasoning and i was like ah let me record it and show the gang yes yeah, so i'm so happy that everyone is here today welcome back to my channel Gemma gems work and we are cooking so here we have some crawfish and I started seasoning it so uh, really quickly um, I'm not gonna cook it right 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 this second so I'm gonna prep it um, and then we are going to put it in the fridge so for now actually we have decided to throw some all-purpose seasoning in there that's what's in there right now we already washed the shrimp with lemon um, cold water and um, I like to throw a little tip of salt in there so here we have all the seasoning that we'll be using on the counter and I'm super 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 excited for this dish um, I believe I'm gonna be making pineapple pepper shrimp actually because I'm preparing pineapple chicken for my kids. If you wanna see a video with that, down below, you go ahead and let me know. So as you can see, we have our sazon season and our sazon uh, pak, and we just dumped it right in there. And um, of course, that's what we are starting with today. Um, I am once again so happy that you returned to my channel and I look forward to you doing more dishes. So let's get right into this. Washing our hands. You must always wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, guys. And these are all the ingredients we'll be using today. And um, yeah, there we have it. So we have the shrimp here. And we're going to put some um, spice balls in there and throw those right in there. We're going to use some garlic powder. Um, I'm not using any measuring cup, I'm using my eyes, some pepper flakes, throw some in there. Uh, we're going to be using some all bay, all bay seasoning. And we're going to put some uh fish all-purpose seasoning maggie and then the chicken all-purpose seasoning yeah we use both not too much just eyeball it onion powder there we go with the onion powder some sazon use two packs of those some paprika some lemon juice and of course our oil is avocado oil. Um, for my husband, I don't use black pepper, guys. He acts me not to, so I just don't. And yeah, if you didn't know, my husband's a Presbyterian, so we do a lot of seafood around here. But we're just using a fork to toss this around, guys. If you smell this, it smells so good. So here we are. We're going to stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. Stir, stir, stir. in there just for flavor not for spice too much I love this hot um scotch bonnet pepper it's so yummy you can literally eat it with anything and yeah so there we have it we're gonna wrap this up clean up it smells so good guys it smells so yummy but yeah there it is Mm, 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 mm. Well, anywho, if you made it this far in the video, please, 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 please take some time now to like this video, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, and turn on the notifications so when I drop a, vi a video, you'll know. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, and I'm on Twitter. Let's get these bad boys in the pot. 
place smells so good. Um, I would just pick up the kids, they're here. We're warming our pot. Um, took these out of the fridge. And we're just waiting for the pot to get hot. We're gonna use some unsalted butter. Unsalted butter, we're just gonna throw that in the pot. Yes, yes, yes. And then we're going to wait for that to melt. So we just let that butter melt. We just let that butter melt and um, get really, really nice and hot in the pot. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw our shrimps in there. All right, guys. Alright guys, so as you can see here, we are putting in our shrimp, and for those of you who do not know how to cook shrimp, it's very, very easy. You just need to put them in the pot. When you see that side is getting kind of pinkish, on the pinker side, then you flip. You'll see that shortly, but we're going to just put in the... Put in the second batch. You know, have the heat on medium heat. You don't need a lot of heat for shrimp. Shrimp cooks really, really fast. You don't want it to be too chewy. So you don't want to overcook them. But yeah. So look, perfect. That nice peach looking pink and you flip. So we are just going to flip them here, just like so. We don't want to crowd our pot. We don't have too much in the pot. Um, guys, it smells so good. It smells so yummy. I am telling you. Yep, and the kids are here harassing me, so you will hear the kids in the background, guys. Um, but look at that. Look how pretty the shrimps look. We just flip them all over. We're just going to do another three minutes and put the next batch in. As you can see, this is the second batch. And you see when it's boiling like this, that means the, the pot is overcrowded. So I'm kind of getting lazy, guys. I just want to be done with this meal already because I'm tired and the kids are in action.
So here we have our pineapple. We just dumped it inside of our shrimp juice. And yeah, guys, we're almost done with the shrimps. It smells so good in here. So we're just gonna remove the shrimps from the pot. Put them in our container. And we gonna make the sauce. Very, 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 very light sauce. Um, super yummy, super tasty. A tip of spice. So guys, here we are. We have our pineapples. We just put it in the pot. And it's super, super smells so yummy. And there we have it. Our pineapple pepper shrimp. No, I did not use full coloring, food coloring, natural color, natural flavor, natural scents, minimalist. But I'll definitely do one for you guys with the food color. Look at that, guys. Ooh, so smells so yummy. Let's taste. Alright, guys. So don't forget to comment down below, like this video, and see you next time. Bye.